Hi and welcome to the Kotlin training. This is the course introduction video that will help you to figure out what you'll be able to do by the end of this course and how the curriculum of this Kotlin training is designed. We will not leave you along with the Kotlin. We would also like to step up the game a little further and will also design two basic apps in Android completely using Kotlin so that you can understand how Kotlin is utilized in Android as well. The entire curriculum of this Kotlin training is designed properly after the research so that the right amount of knowledge is served to you at right time so that you can grasp that. The section one of this course is really basics. This will be your first introduction and first face to face with the Kotlin. We will discuss what Kotlin is, why it has been introduced and you will also know about what are the tools that you require to code in Kotlin. We will also configure our tools so that we don't waste much further time in the later on in the course and everything is properly set up. Every language has some basics and so does the Kotlin. In section 2 we will be talking about all those basics that are required for the Kotlin. Things like variables and constants, numbers and strings will be discussed. We'll also discuss how Kotlin is able to handle the null so nicely. It has been a problem in various other languages, but Kotlin handles nulls really nicely. So far in this course, we have been using the repel, which is read, eval, print loop, which is really good in writing quick codes, but not at all a feasible scope of writing the code. So in this section, you'll be writing your very first code in the Kotlin file and you'll also learn how to create files and write your code in there. Section 3 is all about conditionals. Every programming language needs conditional. We cannot just write code with execute, execute and keep on executing. We need to check some condition, whether user has logged in or not, whether this token was missing or was it there whether the user is trying for looking at whether of this city or that city. So we have to make decisions at every point of time. We will learn how the decisions are being made in the Kotlin using if else, when and a lot of other syntax. And don't worry, we have some great exercises in this section so that you can brush up your skills as well. Section four is little advanced compared to what we have done so far. In the section 4, we are going to discuss about little bit more advanced data types like arrays and lists. But don't worry, these are pretty simple and pretty easy to learn. We are also going to talk about loops because once you have an array, you might want to loop through an array. Now don't worry in case if these terms are a little bit intimidating to you, don't worry, everything will be covered in detail. We'll also learn about the functions and how functions can be configured and designed in Kotlin. And these are the most basic steps in order to design Android stats. Once you have learned how the functions are de being designed and are being called, life becomes so much easier. In this section, we'll also learn how you can integrate Java seamlessly in the Kotlin. So now we can use the power of Java as well as Kotlin and can merge them together and create fantastic apps. Section 5 is about object-oriented programming and yes, you guessed it right. We are going to talk about the classes, objects, inheritance, abstract classes and all stuff which is very important and very powerful. Now, not only those examples, I'll walk you through that sometime it's always good to restrict our options as well. I have a very good example of an airline system where sometimes it's good to reserve our option that only three types of seats are available for the user to pick up. Now how we can do that using the enums is discussed quite a lot in detail in this section. This is one of the fantastic section of this course and I really really think that you are going to enjoy the most in this section. By now you will be able to fully comfortable and think a lot in the Kotlin designing functions, designing classes, making objects from them and you'll be quite a lot of comfortable with the Kotlin. But now I want you to take one step further and want you to understand that how the Kotlin is integrated with the Android. 
we'll be designing two basics app, basic apps in the Android. Although these apps are not at all advanced, I want to make a disclaimer there, uh, but these are good enough, advanced enough to understand that how Kotlin can be integrated, how the functions are called, how the things like on when you click on a button or tap on a button in the Android, how functions are being called, how you can identify anything unique on your mobile devices like button or text view or text fields. So these are going to be pretty fun exercise and by this, by the end of this section, you will have two apps with you. So this was just a brief overview of what is about to come in this course. I hope you are really excited for this course as I am really excited. I hope I'll be able to serve you properly with the Kotlin and you'll, you'll face no problem at all. But in case you find any problem, mention them in the Q&A section and we can discuss that. So let's get started now.